Welcome to the channel, everybody. My name is Ryan, and this is Unreal World, and we are back with our Spirit Quest playthrough. This is Athena of the Owl Tribe. Here she is, our main character. And as you can see, we're here at our cabin. The fence is with our dogs. is just down south there, and I've been working on the fence, in fact. And I noticed when I looked up here at one of our traps that we've got ourselves a slightly eaten small elk carcass right here. And if you'll notice, there's actually bear droppings as well. So we, I think we've got a bear in the area in addition to an elk carcass, which I don't know how long it's been here. So I'm definitely going to have to get this thing skinned and butchered very soon but um, man that is not our first kill i'll tell you in the recent episode most recent one i just finished processing it but we got something like 300 plus elk cuts from a big bowl so we are doing really fantastic in terms of our food and if you look we've got a ton of stuff for trading now including a bunch of good furs so what i might do at some point is go out and look for some foreign traders see if we can't get some cool armor or something that's always a smart idea now i tell you what while we process this elk here what i want to do is chat about some of our long-term goals in fact, I've discussed heading up north in previous episodes. I mentioned coming up to the Owl Tribe, which is Athena's ancestral hair, a homeland, by the way. She is of the Owl Tribe. But coming up here and searching around some of their settlements for a good northern bow which would be something a definite of improvement for the little hunting bow that I've got right now. But I was thinking about it, and honestly, that is definitely something better left for the winter, just because it's so much easier to explore and move about the island or the peninsula of Finland or whatever, you know, during the winter when we can go right over the ice and stuff like that. So what we'll do is we'll continue to hunt. And what another thing I might do is... So since hunting can get a little boring, I love it, but I know just seeing me hunt again and again and again probably is a little tedious. But one thing we can do is come in and explore some of this culture, the Rimi culture. It probably won't be too bad, although I do see a river right here. See the river? So, I mean, you can see what I mean about water. It's a constant encumbrance to exploration in the warmer months. But nonetheless, it might be worth opening up a few of their villages looking for some more dogs or even a cow or a bull. That would be great, too, just for carrying purposes. Because if I am going to do a big trade run, I'm going to need more than just four dogs and a sheep. You know what I'm saying? So it's probably good to get prepared beforehand. But anyway, we are starting off with a nice little kill. So let me go ahead and take care of this and I'll show you how much meat I come up with once I've butchered it and reset the trap. Oh my god guys, well check this out. So I was just finishing up the skin while I was talking to you and I, I think we got the skin successfully. Yeah, I got it just a normal elk skin here. Obviously it still needs to be tanned and whatnot, cleaned and tanned, but when I went back to the carcass, now it's rotten. So literally between the time I finished skinning it or started skinning it and finished, the body went rotten. So we cannot get any of this meat here, which is really unfortunate. But honestly, it's not the end of the world. I mean, it was just a kill. Apparently the bear got a meal on it. You know, there's a bear here somewhere. I'd love it if we could catch the bear in one of our traps, but uh, well, no big deal. It is sad. You know what I'll do just to, as a as an apology to the spirit realm for letting that big kill go go to waste we'll we'll sacrifice something i do need to pick up some meat though but you speaking of meat you can see that i'm definitely not hurting for any meat whatsoever in fact you know what i'll do i'm going to grab these fish we'll sacrifice some of these cuz they're just individual little pieces of fish so that's a good idea i think we'll have we'll always have a little bit of food on us to sacrifice if we carry these around there we go now we feel comfortable Whoa, so I just got back from being out and about, uh, collecting a bunch of cordage for the fences, essentially, and I came back, I noticed these tracks right here. Oh my gosh, guess what? Very fresh, big bear tracks, which are numerous and mixed. Wow, and I haven't even finished that skin yet. You can see the elk skin is right here. It's not even done yet. 
on its final stage. Like I said, I'd just been killing a little time out in the forest. I was actually picking blueberries too. Came across some blueberries, so we're going to use those in a recipe. But you know what? We need to set a new trap. We're going to have to set a bear trap up here. Let me just drop off some of this stuff here. Yeah, I don't need to carry that around with me. But there are specifically bear traps. And that obviously, if that's what you're going for, if that's your quarry, that's the best thing to build. Now, the good news, the hard part in one of these bear traps is logs. You need three logs. is like the big resource. But we've got a ton of them. As you can see, there's many, many here. Now, I am currently playing zoomed out as to max just so I can see if that bear happens to be around me at all but honestly this seems like a pretty decent place to go ahead and set it up look the tracks are right here too oh yeah very fresh bear tracks heading off in that northerly direction so it's a good spot I'm gonna go ahead and move okay move that is that two of them yeah we got a log in a tree trunk I might set a couple of these just cuz like I said once you've got the actual uh, logs in place, it's easy. Uh, let's see, I do need to get some cordage. So I've actually got a bunch of that on me. Let's go ahead and whip some of it up. Yep, I've been busy picking up a bunch of saplings. <laughs> the fencing that I've been creating, and let me show it to you just while we're talking about it over here, takes a lot, takes a heck of a lot. There's a lot of resources in addition to the labor. So you can see I'm starting to kind of curve it. This is going to be the corner of it right here. Let me zoom in. And I'm just kind of moving it so that it's at this level because I want these traps to be all one section here. Obviously, I didn't line them up perfectly. I wasn't really considering fencing when I did this, but I, I can just move it. You know, it doesn't have to be a perfect straight line. In fact, I think it gives it a little character seeing it like this, but you can see that this area had to be kind of adjusted but it's still perfectly functional. There's no way to get around this without going through the trap, essentially. Okay, there you go. You can see I've got a couple of these set up now. And I loaded them up with some of our dried fish. Hey, hopefully this will do the trick. I might go ahead and set another one, too, just because I've got such an absurd amount of logs here. It's super easy. And, of course, every trap that I set is technically at least one fence part that I don't have to build so that's actually good for me too and these things can catch other kind of big game as well you know if a, a large pig were to come through or an elk I think that they could probably get caught in the bear trap as well so it's not just for bears but like I said this will help plug some holes in the fence so we'll go ahead and set this one together I actually need some small trunks for this there we go. We'll move these with us. There we are. Now I'm trying to keep these in line together. There we go. Because that is easier when setting up fences. But nonetheless, they're still pretty close together. All right, let's see. And of course, we need to use some cordage. There we go. I'm actually getting good enough at making this spruce cordage that uh, I made some fine stuff. But that's irrelevant. I won't be using any of it for crafting, so it's just going right into here. And I think instead of fish, we'll put some blueberries in this one. Bears like blueberries, right? Okay, so we've got three good bear traps set in a location where we've got some defi definite sightings of it. Now, I've been thinking about it too, this poor elk over here that was went bad. I was going to save the carcass and maybe move it into the dog kennel, because eventually it'll turn into bones. But I think I'm just going to burn it. We'll do a little ritual burn here. Get rid of this thing. And there it is. Got to start a nice big fire for it. In fact, let's put some of these guys on that fire. Just so that we make sure it doesn't go out with some of the carcass remaining there. Because that's a grisly sight. But there we go. We got a huge fire going. All right. So now I guess I'll get back to uh, watching the elk skin. I don't know. It might be done now. Because I've completed three different large traps. Let's see. How's this thing doing? Yep, it's ready to go. Look, there's more tracks right here. <gasps> These are big bear. They're half day old. So, man, he's been all over the place. I should probably check all my traps real quick. Let's just go around the perimeter together. And we'll see. So there's one right there. That one's okay. Uh, there's a couple a little bit farther south. Has this one been set off? Oh, this one's been triggered. No way. 
That was probably him. Although I don't see any tracks, but there we go. So that one's reset. It's got some nettle leaves on it. I thought I had another one, but no. You know, I should probably set a bear trap down here too. All right, yeah, I'm going to do that real quick. Okay, there we go. Just putting the finishing touches on that one. I did have to take a break and start the fire in our cabin, have a little nap and stuff, but we're back down here, so that's set. Now, like I said, let's go around and just check all the traps just to make sure. The dogs haven't woken me up or anything, so this bear has been pretty elusive, man. We've only seen signs of it so far. I haven't seen the actual bear yet. But it's eaten that elk carcass. Well, there's some blueberries. And, of course, it's. I believe it set off that trap for sure, probably. But here we go. Here's the side of our three. Oh, my God. It's right there. Oh, do you see it? There it is. No joke. Wounded big female bear. Fracture in the left knee. Wow. No way. That's wild. We've got it. The bear trap worked. All right, let's move in a little bit. Now, this is always tricky. Even inside a trap like this, it can be very, very dangerous. So probably the best thing to do would be to have some blunt arrows and fire those at the bear's head, trying to knock it out and then get in you know, close and take a swing at it with the blunt, just trying to preserve its skin you know, as much as possible. Unfortunately, I don't have any blunt arrows and I don't want to just leave it in the trap. So I think we'll probably try and take a shot at it. Let me take off my gloves real quick. I'll always try and remember to do that. There we go. So we'll just take a shot at its head. Maybe we'll get lucky. Oh, nice. It did fall on. Oh, it fell unconscious, but it got back up. I really don't want to try and tangle with it in melee. Let me take another shot at it with the broad head. This is risky. Oh, it's pissed. Yeah, see. Let me look at it. I don't want to ruin this fur either, though. Yeah, it's crippled. Just pumping it full of arrows isn't good. And nor is grabbing the dogs, because they would probably rip it to shreds. But, damn. All right, let me take another shot at it. Like Maybe I should make up some blunt arrows just for this reason. Okay, it's down. I don't think it's dead, but I'm going to go ahead and move in. It'll probably still try and take a couple swipes. Yep, it's taking a swipe at me. But it missed. We're just going to dodge most of those. Right, let's go blunt to the head. Still super risky. Okay, we dodged and it missed us. Dodge again. My character is extremely good at dodging. Her skill level at agility and... Oops, if I go to this one. Yeah, agi oops, I'm sorry. Agility and dexterity are basically maxed out with her i'm not saying it's impossible to hit her but i don't think this bear's gonna do it blunt to the head dodge we're fine Ooh, ooh. i think it actually got me that time dodge hold on oh wrong one can't use skills in the heat of combat well we can step away bruise in the left calf okay that's not serious but you gotta be careful all right Let's go blunt. Oh, it's fleeing. I want it to go unconscious. So risky. I'm watching my injury meter too. If that gets up, if that jumps up there again, we're going to have to move away. And I'll just get the dogs or something. Oh, we are dodging efficiently like a swan, it says though. She's just not that great at melee. I think our best skill is the knife. Yeah, it's definitely improved too since we started, but it's just a tough fight. Oh, finally, it's unconscious. Okay, hopefully it'll stay that way as I repeatedly hit its skull over and over again. All right, we have done it. The bear is dead now. I can pick up my arrows. Very good. Okay, so let's rewield one of our arrows just to be prepared. I'm going to rest. Let's look at the injuries. We're fine. Still just that bruise in the calf, so we're totally okay. And we got ourselves a fresh bear kill, which is huge. It's a big bear, too. Okay, we just obtained a fine bear skin. That's beautiful. 
that'll be worth quite a bit of trading and of course the meat now since we're right here at the cabin too none of this should go to waste not a bit of it so i've just got a lot of work ahead of me so i'm going to take care of that real quick all right well i've just put uh, the starter i was going to say the finishing touches on the bear fur but we just started it so um the meat now too is going to be smoked as you can see i got 182 bear cuts and you know it occurred to me while i was rearming that trap and putting the bait back on it that that was actually the one we set the blueberries on not the fish so for whatever reason i think the bears are really attracted to blueberries just to, hey give it a try next time you got a trap for some bears set up but uh, anyway let's go ahead and get the fire started we'll need that and we've already got quite a bit of meat in here going but that's perfectly fine we're just going to keep the stack i wish i had more room so i could spread everything out but also on the other hand having a nice tight compact area like this is helpful because i can keep my cordage within reach and we can just smoke everything real quick not a big deal. I've still got the bear skull too, by the way. And anybody who knows anything about the killing a bear knows that you've got to complete the bear skull right. Oops. There it is right there. So we need to hang that skull in a lone pine tree, which I'd like to do it here on the property, but sometimes it's best just to head to like an open pine mire because you'll usually find like a lone pine tree growing in those just not surrounded by anything but uh, anyway we'll take care of that here shortly but first things first we got to get this meat completed no doubt about it Alrighty, guys we are here at the side of a pine mire as i described you can often find individual large pines here all alone which we've kind of done i mean there's a few trees around it but this i think works so i've got the bear skull wielded we are now going to throw this into the tree it actually says that we gracefully hang it right there you gracefully hang the bear skull in the pine very good and you can actually see the little skull now in the tree let me grab an arrow real quick there you go so now as you can see i've got the dogs with me and each one of them should be loaded up with some goods or some food there some furs and you can see that athena herself is also carrying a whole bunch of extra stuff too so i've got some trading in mind we are going to head up instead of going to the green guys or to the owl tribe we need to head over here i think to the koivula grab our order from the blacksmith and put another one in but then after that i definitely need to find some more animals and you know i've visited almost every one of these villages and they don't really have any so i might double back after that once we pick up our stuff because it's really not that far and we might head over to the green guys the remi because in my experience they do often have more animals than like your average civilization or tribe or whatever but um Yep, so that's going to be the plan, but uh, first things first, like I said, let's go to the blacksmith. Okay, let's see here. How's that masterwork trading coming? He says it's ready, so let's do some trading. All right, sir. As you can see, I brought a ton of stuff. First thing, I want to try and get rid of the fur and the leather shirt. I'm going to keep all our actual furs, though, so let's just throw in, like, a short bow. See what he says. Halfway there. Okay, okay. I bet you a hunting bow and let's say 10 arrows. There it is. Yeah, nice deal. All right, cool. So we've got ourselves a brand new, what is it? Masterwork trident. Yes, there it is. So that's our personal item. We're not going to trade that, but I am going to put another order in for this. He's got quite a few things we still need. So one thing a commenter mentioned out is I still need uh, mentioned is that I still need a masterwork broad knife. So I'm going to grab that also good for crafting certain kinds of crafting and construction. It'll be good to have that. Um, half a week okay so that's not very long but knowing me i'll probably leave it go for like 46 days uh let's just see no no animals yet it's good to check i know they have dogs here there's one of them right up there but um they keep them for their own guarding and stuff nonetheless like i said now we get the long journey of heading over here to the Rimi culture and hopefully avoiding most of the water between us and them but let me see what are these markers i've got here oh there's dogs there and what's this one 
dogs. So both of these villages have dogs, as you can see. So I think that'll be our first stop. Let's go. Okay, we have arrived at one of the first villages. Now, just as a side note, I did stop back at the cabin and start the fire again so that our smoked meat won't go bad. And I don't spend on, plan on spending too much time here. I think we'll just grab these two dogs and then head back to the cabin because there's a lot of meat there that's being prepared and I can't let that go bad. But anyway, here we are. I've gone ahead and I've picked up one dog for one spear. That's a pretty straight up trade, probably overpaying a little bit, but it's a deal. That's totally fine with me. Now the hard part is figuring out which of the dogs it is. Okay, I'm looking at the ground here. What? Um, hold on. Is it this guy? Yeah, that's the one. All right, so I need to get close to him. There we go. They always give you rope, but they never tie the animal up. Oh, that's not him. Which one is it then? Hold on a second. I got to figure out which dog is mine. It might be that one. I hit that. Yeah, and I could tell it to stay. Okay. Now I will leash that dog up. There we go. It is now on a leash. Now I will name it. And I shall name you reaper there we go all right it's an intimidating name now it's possible they could have multiple dogs let's just see nope no other animals okay so it's important too that i come in here and delete this marker just so i don't confuse myself in the future but um like i said there's two villages in this area so let's head on to the next one all right and we are at the site of the second village with a second small female dog on the trading block and i'm given a broad knife a short bow and five arrows there we go i think that's a good enough that's pretty close to even too because i kind of finagled those arrows a little bit but nonetheless we've got ourselves another dog is this it right here let's see no come over here to this guy uh that might be the one so grab our rope Leash it up. Yep, that's it. Okay, well, we are just leaving the village, and I noticed this strange-looking bush right here. It's hard to see it because it's getting late, but that these bushes right here, it's like, I've never seen this. What is this? It's a raspberry bush. Oh, so I've actually picked a handful or two of those. So now we've got like 18 raspberries. 21. Nice. I'm going to take those back home. Hopefully they'll stay good for a month or two. And like I said, we'll use those in some sort of cooking recipe at some point. But hey, we have increased our canine pack by two new dogs. So that was a good trip, I think, definitely. And like I said, it's time to get back home. Take care of all that meat we got. Oh boy, so I've been out here in the wilderness hunting, but not hunting for an animal. I was hunting for one of these guys right here. We've got ourselves a foreign trader. So I've still got all my furs on me. I did drop off all the tools and the weapons. Where the hell did he go? There he is. No, that's a squirrel. But because these traders will only go for furs, not leather, not weapons, none of that. How did I lose him? How did I... Oh, there he is. Okay, they move around, but... Also, encountering him in the deep woods like this isn't great, just because it's hard to... There's, like, usually, like, seven of them. So it's hard to, like, figure out where they're all at. But here we go. Here's one of them. Let's greet him, introduce ourselves, see what he's got. Ooh, masterwork round shield, arrows, longbow. That's tempting, but... I'd like to get something better than that. And also the round shield, eh. I can just order one of those from our blacksmith friend. So it's okay, but it's not great. There's another one. Let's talk to him. Introduce and trade. Battle for masterwork. Uh, we don't use heavy crossbows. So that's a no-go. But um, it's worth checking. Like I said, there's probably more. It's just hard to see them. Ugh. They're usually all next to each other. I only see two right now. Oh, there's a third one, I think. Let's try this guy right here. Hello. All right, trade. <gasps> oh, nothing. I will, I'll keep trying. There's probably a couple more. If I find anything interesting, like some armor, then we'll do some bartering. Okay, well, ultimately no luck with the foreign trader, but um, we have arrived back at the cabin. 
of course, sticking close to home. Some of that meat has been finished, fortunately, but there's still a lot left. So you can see this is what we've got here. Now it's all consolidated. I've picked up most of like the little pieces and I'm just using them for sacrificing and stuff like that. But we're also eating some of it. Now, here's the deal. I think we're just kind of killing time, literally until the winter. I'm going to continue to do some hunting and stuff like that. So we've got eighth week before the winter season. So there's still quite a bit of time to go. But like I said, who knows? There could be some interesting stuff happen between now and then. If we definitely, if we get another village pop up, one of those enemy ones, we're definitely going to take it out. Just depending on where it is, you know, that's always important. I don't think I'll be going for a full kill of the Nurpezid in this series, but I do think we'll do that again in a future series. But nonetheless, guys, we still got a lot of work to do here in the Spirit Quest. I'm hoping to get another quest soon, too. But um, anyway, thank you for joining me for today's episode. I hope you'll hit that like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so, and I will see you all on the next one.